Good afternoon and thanks for joining us. I'm Caitlin Stancil filling in for Kim Radcliffe. We have team coverage of the frigid temperatures today. So cold we broke the record for the coldest temps this morning. Gannon in the weather center right now with your forecast. But first, let's check in with Patrick Ellis live outside in the courtyard. That's right, Caitlin. It is uh, pretty chilly out here and I've only been out here for about five minutes and I really can't feel my face. It, it's that cold at this point and that's after we've warmed up into the 20s here across southeastern North Carolina. And again, like you said earlier, uh, we did shatter a record. I mean, absolutely ob obliterated a record uh, low temperature that was set back in 1896 of 19 degrees. We shattered that with 13 this morning. Our average temperature is 39 degrees. That's our average low. We won't even get that for a high temperature today. Uh, Chief Meteorologist Gannon Medwick in the forecast center. He's got the look at what we can expect looking forward for the weekend and also what they expect for the rest of the day. Gannon. Yeah, we're going to look forward uh, off that uh, cold start to the day and still cold as you can attest to uh, Patrick there in the courtyard. Um, lows across the area. Quick nod to those actually 10 to 15 this is about all we could buy for the morning. Now to the here and now if you're just getting started on your afternoon, still in the 20s top to bottom left to right all across the map. Officially the port city at the top of the hour 26 degrees, but it still feels more like the teens 15. The latest wind chill. Whiteville, Elizabethtown, Fayetteville, Lumberton, you know all about that. Wind chills still in the teens for you early this afternoon. Take your forecast hour by hour for the rest of today. You notice not a lot of drama in our skies, lots of sunshine. Do enjoy that. And, and when you park, uh, running your errands, park in that full sunshine. Let the sun do its thing. Warm your car interior through the glass because uh, it's going to be tough to take an edge off this cold if you don't layer up otherwise. Seven day forecast does feature some warmer times for the weekend. We'll detail that in a few minutes. Caitlin. Well, Gannon, we're not the only ones facing record breaking cold temperatures. This has been the trend across the nation and to show us what that looks like. Peter Alexander is on the Coast Guard Cutter in Maryland and Dylan Dreyer is at a five story high frozen fountain in New York. Good day to you from the upper Chesapeake Bay Channel right now. The temperature fortunately doubling since we got out here at dawn. Two degrees then, four degrees now. The wind chill making it feel like 18 degrees below zero. We're on board the U.S. Coast Guard Cutter, the cleat right now. Bring the camera this direction and you can see what we're trying to carve our way through right now. This is thick ice, as thick as any we've seen all day so far, up to two feet deep in places. This cutter with its steel hole can only get through about 18 inches. The ice, as they describe it, is packed and stacked. You can hear that noise. That's the sound it makes right now. And if it gets too thick, we have to go back and ram, back and ram. They'll be out here all day in what is one of the busiest ports in the Mid-Atlantic. Dylan, take it away. And I'm Dylan Dreyer here in Genesee Falls, New York, where we have captured what cold looks like here as well. This is Letchworth National Park, and this is a giant fountain. It's a man-made fountain that shoots water about five stories high, and you can see the water still coming out the top of it, and then it just freezes and creates this absolutely gorgeous ice sculpture. It happens every year, but this year it's just a perfect way to show you just how cold it is. We were at eight degrees below zero here this morning. We are breaking records all across the eastern half of the country in Baltimore. The old record was set back in the late 1800s and we bottomed out at one degree today. So we are shattering records of all kinds. And again, sometimes you just have to put it into a picture. And I think this fountain makes the cold actually look pretty. I'm Dylan Dreyer in Genesee Falls, New York. Well, speaking of the cold, how's this for a fun winter weekend? The 11th annual Polar Plunge takes place tomorrow at the Curry Beach Boardwalk. It'll benefit the Special Olympics. And if you've never been to one of these events, this is where folks take a plunge into the frigid Atlantic Ocean. And for people who want to skip the dip, they can participate in other events, including a 5K race in Curry Beach. Well, new at this hour, we've learned the North Carolina State Ports Authority is extending hours at the port here in Wilmington. Officials say this will increase productivity starting on Monday. The Port of Wilmington South Gate hours will be from 7 in the morning until 6. Well, coming up, U.S. troops working with military allies to stop ISIS. We have those details next. Plus, nuclear negotiations. We've had the latest on deals to curb Iran's nuclear power after the break. But first, let's take a look at your midday stocks. A major military offensive against the ISIS militant group is said to be in the works in Iraq, and it could see American boots on the ground. Richard Engel reports from Istanbul. 
An intensive round of talks over Iran's disputed nuclear program kicked off today in Geneva. Iran's head negotiator arrived at a hotel for meetings with a U.S. delegation. Secretary of State John Kerry and his Iranian counterpart joined the discussions in two days. They're aimed at narrowing the remaining gaps to clinch an agreement next month that would curb Iran's nuclear program. Well, near-death experiences scientists now looking into those moments before you die and what it could mean. That story straight ahead. And we've got the sun and blue skies. Now all we're missing is the heat. Chilly temperatures keeping the beaches clear for now. We're going to have more on your forecast after the break. A couple of showers notwithstanding. Let's get those temperatures above freezing for a change, change Caitlin. I saw that one little graphic you had with the penguin, and I, I was like, oh, Gannon definitely picked that. I know how you love penguins. I, lo I love me some penguins, and uh, that's what you and I were doing this morning when we were doing those live shots. Yeah. We were just kind of bobbing around and moving around we trying to keep the blood flowing. We did a complete wardrobe change for the noon show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we really did. Yeah, we shed some layers for work in the studio, that's for, for sure. sure. Thank you. Yeah. Well, have you ever wondered what happens when you die? Researchers across the country are wondering that, too. As Doreen Gensler reports in our Health First story, scientists are trying to figure out what causes near-death experiences. All right, get your phone out as you listen to this next story. YouTube is about to release a new app just for kids, and it could help you monitor what your kids are looking at online. The company releasing this free app called YouTube Kids. It comes with a parent control timer that'll shut the app off after a set amount of time. For now, the app will be available for Android devices only, and it launches on Monday. And you may notice something different on the shelves the next time you walk in your local Starbucks. We'll tell you what's changing coming up. Okay, check this out. Starbucks, you know how at their register they have those CDs lined up. Well, turns out they're going to stop stocking and selling those. Compact discs have been stocked in the front of those registers at most Starbucks stores worldwide for more than a decade. They haven't officially announced the news, but Billboard quotes a rep for the company saying CD sales in stores will end at the end of March. Hmm. Leaves more room for muffins. <laughs> Obviously, that's the most important part. <laughs> scones, too. We don't want to take away from scones. True. Don't want to discriminate so. here. All right. Well, I guess that's big news. That is a shift to how they've been doing business. We could use a shift into how the weather's doing, right? But for the time being, you're headed out this afternoon. More than not, you still feel wind chill values in the teens. Had some single digits this morning, so I guess that's a marginal improvement. But real improvement in our temperatures still in the offing for this weekend. We think despite... Increased clouds and a daily chance for showers. Our temperatures really make it strides. We'll be sure to tune in to WCT News at 5. Have a great day.